so a little frosty this morning we're gonna get the truck started and warming up we got our uh, earth claims audit so I got my farm protocol manual because we're gonna do a uh, on the phone audit this morning we got to do that every 15 months it's an animal welfare audit we're gonna uh, go up and check the meat cooler up there because um, <clears throat> we got a beef in there and just want to make sure everything's still working and we're gonna do a little video of probably gonna trade hay rakes or try to anyways Mountain View Equipment's got a really nice Pottinger rake that's a little bit bigger than ours. Our rake is in really good shape, but <clears throat> when we bought it, we had a 12 foot mower. Then we bought a Coon FC353. Then we got a 13 foot John Deere 946, and the rake ain't quite big enough doesn't really work the way we want it to. You gotta do an extra pass. We're trying to make windrows. So we got some meat in there. Temperature is good, like 38 degrees. So that's where we want it. So, anyways, this Pottinger rake's a little bit bigger than ours. I actually thought about trading mowers also this year. This one's not bad. It's in good shape, but we got to put tires on it. Um, it's a 946. But uh, I'm going to replace some shoes on it. i got to do a little bit of work. Nothing major. It's just little stuff. But if you keep them too long, then you don't get any trade value out of them. So I like to trade them about every seven years. And then you get some pretty good trade value. If you wait any longer than that, you pretty much got to keep it forever they won't give you anything for it so this is a rake it's a 6522 coon rake it's in really good shape so like i said i mean the tires are a little war the walking beam got war and i had to put new spindles in it and new bushings so it wore this tire um, before i got it fixed but other than that there's really no issues with it <laughs> It's all greased up and put away for the winter, but <clears throat> anyways, like I said, that Pottinger, the rotor is probably like a foot um, wider than this one. So it will do a better job working with that mower. And I don't think the old 23, this is the tractor that's hooked to the rake most of the year. Um, I don't see it. Uh, I forget what I was going to say. I don't see us getting a wider mower because this one's already bad enough to tow down the road. It takes up the whole road when we're going down the road. We got quite a frost this morning. Um, so, and I never said what was going on with the baler. So we bought that baler brand new this spring. And ever since we've had it, um, it will not make a tight bale. And the dealer came over towards the end of the year. It took me all season to get them over because they got bought out by United Ag and Turf. And it just threw the transition. I couldn't get a tech over there. So we were three quarters of the way through the season by the time. First cut, it makes an all right bale. But second cut, they're just hard to keep shape. And the belts weren't running right because they weren't tight like they were supposed to. So they was wearing the belts and, and uh, <clears throat> just had whole host of issues with it so they've got it back we took it back over and they're gonna when the tech did come over the pressure was only running like 1200 on the baler and it's supposed to be up to like 2500 so it's not uh doing what it's supposed to do well, there's an internal leak in there somewhere so then we ended up burning a belt up so they got to replace that and then the net wrap wasn't going on the way it should have so there's a list of things i don't care what you get brand new or not it's gonna have issues so anyways we're gonna to head to the farm and they're probably gonna be pulling um, forms off this morning and we're gonna finish working on our little shed and um, our out it is at 10 30 so I gotta be around to get that phone call and we're gonna to go to Claremont today maybe to get a new body like this 
Claremont, New Hampshire for Anna's new Ford truck.